What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in the office today. I can't decide which backdrop I like better, like the clean guest room boho aesthetic or like Miranda's cozy, cute, artsy, busy background. Let me know in the comments which one you like to see when you see sit down videos. But today's sit down video is a favorites video. I missed out last month, so I'm so excited to do this month for you because I actually have a lot of products this month. I feel like my last favorites video was a little bit underwhelming. I didn't have a ton of things, but whenever I skip a month, the next month seems to be filled with a ton of things. So I'm super excited to share with you all of my favorites this month. You're gonna have everything from beauty, fitness, jewelry, food, all of the above, so let's get on into it. All right, first I wanna talk about a Tula release that just came out last month. I am obsessed with this. This is the 24-7 Ultra Hydration Triple Complex Day and Night Serum. Although I've only been using it during the day underneath my makeup, it's what I have on my skin underneath my primer as well. And this is essentially just a really nice light, I'm gonna rub it in so you can see, hydration serum that gives such a beautiful glow without being shimmery. If you saw my last makeup video, I did just kind of like a chatty get ready with me and I put on some Charlotte Tilbury primer and it was very glittery, which I don't like. I like to have my face looking glowy and hydrated and very like supple, but not glittery. And this does just that. Not to mention any type of serums always make me nervous because I do get like clogged pores easily and I have not had that issue. To be honest with you, my skin has been looking very good the last month and a half and I have not gotten a facial. I haven't done anything different, just including that serum and just, you know, my regular nighttime routine. I did a little Instagram reel of like my nighttime get unready with me and you guys really seem to like that. So if you like those little shorts, let me know. But I, I did hear you in the last video about getting rid of YouTube and so many of you are still loyal YouTube fam. So I'm not going anywhere on YouTube, but I have a little bit, you know, just, I'm fighting out here. I'm fighting out here to try to get to 100,000 subs. I've been trying for six years to get 100,000 subscribers and I'm like 97.3. So hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed. But um, yeah, that is my favorite serum at the moment. I think it is such a nice, like, just makes your skin look so dewy without being too much. You know, like sometimes the overhydration primers can make your face very wet and it's hard to put makeup on top, but not that one. Next up, we have two Sol de Janeiro products. I was calling this Soy de Janeiro, like in Spanish. <laughs> And that is not correct. And these two have been my absolute favorite recently. This is a refill, which is why it's so full, but this is almost empty. And this is the Bomb Dia Bright Clarifying AHA and BHA Wash. I am somebody who during the summertime, during the hotter humid months, I break out on my chest, my shoulders, my back. And I really like the, uh, I forget the brand name, but it's the Bump Eraser, First Day Beauty maybe. I can't remember, but it's a bump eraser and it's a very harsh scrub. And I do feel like that works very well if you get like ingrown hairs, just little bumps and pimples and like whatnot on your body. But I wanted to switch it up because I had been using that one for so long. So I switched to this one and the smell is amazing. Actually, all of their products, in my opinion, smell so good for the summertime only though. Like this is very summer specific smells. It's like fresh, uplifting. This is, I don't think it's floral. It's kind of like, I almost want to say, like papaya kind of. It's got a very nice, fresh and summery smell. And then this is just the hair and body mist. And this is in pistachio and salted caramel. Although I don't really feel like, I don't feel pistachio when I spray this. <laughs> I, I feel uh, beach, lotion like this could be the smell of a sunscreen kind of it doesn't smell like sunscreen but it's got that banana boat boat vibes does that make sense <laughs> i don't know why they called this pistachio and salted caramel it really doesn't smell like that to me but it also kind of reminds me of the bath and body works body sprays but i think this would be just as, like such a great little thing to throw in your bag if you're just like out and about and you feel like you smell which is literally my life all the time because i'm always sweating <laughs> and it just smells so good for the summertime speaking of smelling <laughs> I saw this at Target and this is the Loom Whole Body Deodorant. I'm gonna be honest, I do not put this anywhere but my armpits. I am a big 
no-no of putting like any scented things anywhere else if you know what I mean so this is says for pits privates and beyond cannot attest to the privates and beyond but this is in the scent toasted coconut and let me tell you they for sure captured the toasted part of this coconut <laughs> there's a qualm to this though because when you put it on and you're just like like I'm smelling myself right now and it smells so good it definitely has that coconut scent to it it's very beachy it's summery I love it so much but there is a but well there's two butts to this and I love how when I have favorites videos you know I'm always gonna keep it real though like I will tell you these are my favorite things but I'm not gonna tell you that it's perfect so do with this information what you will the problem that I have with this is and maybe I just need to get a different scent uh, <laughs> it says 72 72 hour odor control aluminum free by the way but my problem with this is when you do sweat and you're bebopping around and you're like really hot and sweaty you smell like you're a burnt coconut <laughs> like, weren't joking when they said toasted coconut it is a toasted coconut and I don't quite know how I feel about that like I think this is great for just if you're chilling but I think I need a more active smelling one you know what I mean like toasted coconut and the musky stank of workout sweat it's not it Miranda says it doesn't smell that bad but I think she's being nice because I don't like it and if I can smell myself then I don't know if I like it but other than that, it is long lasting. It does smell like a toasted coconut and it definitely helps with sweating and just like stinky. <laughs> I don't know, let me know what you think about this. Maybe I need another flavor, I mean scent. Next up, we're gonna talk about this water bottle. I am not a Stanley Cup girly. I don't care, I, I know they're amazing. I know everyone loves them. They're all over TikTok and Instagram, but I just don't care for them. And there's a couple reasons, but one, why is it $40? two it's not big enough okay i usually keep my 40 ounce one it has a handle however i was finding that anytime it dropped or tilted over it would just spill everywhere especially in my car and so i wanted one that had a locking feature on it and i found this little guy at target and i don't think that it was that expensive and i love the color of it it has a handle so it's easy to hold when you're out and about and the locking feature keeps it from like if you do drop it or it tilts over it doesn't pop open so you're not spilling water everywhere absolutely love this highly recommend if you want an alternative to the stanley i think this is fantastic and it does keep your drinks very cold because it is insulated okay next i want to talk about my vacuum and i <laughs> i made a tiktok about my vacuum collection so for those of you who always ask about my vacuums go watch that tiktok it breaks down all the ones that i have but this most recent shark one that i purchased was 100% a TikTok purchase as a lot of things in my favorites videos are but let me tell you something it is 100% worth it especially if you have dogs I love shark vacuums I love my Bissels too but I really like shark vacuums for like heavy duty cleaning carpets high pile carpets couches things like that but this new shark the the main reason why i wanted to get it is because it doesn't have a brush roll like traditional vacuums so hair and string and all that stuff cannot physically get caught up in the roll because if you have dogs and i have three dogs plus two girls with hair you're always cutting hair out of that bitch like it's such a mess and then they added this couch attachment which is my favorite part so you like lift the little thing off the, the vacuum and then you put this little couch attachment and you can vacuum your entire couch same concept no brush roll and it's amazing like i just not only that but i got the fresh scent one so it infuses the whatever is in there the felt with febreze amazing so it's expensive i got it on sale at target but it was worth every penny but next i want to talk about something that i've been implementing in a few different ways if you already follow me on youtube and instagram you've probably already seen those little joseph's pita i'm late to the game with these i know they've been around forever but i've been making both these like little greek pita bowls and then i made pita pizzas and i've just found myself going back to them consistently over the last month or so so i want to just kind of like throw those in there for a food related item because they are so good and they're also a great way to get in some extra protein and fiber if you're somebody that struggles with that speaking of food let me just let me just get into the food category i have two things which i don't have the packages physically here because i ate them but the first is a little bit surprising a couple favorites videos ago i talked about legendary foods i think it was the pop tarts whatever it was and 
you know, I was kind of like wishy-washy about them, but I thought they were good for the macros. And then I found the Legendary Foods cinnamon rolls. And my brother's girlfriend actually told me about these and she was like, you would like them. But I'm always hesitant with people who say that because I'm very picky with protein products. Well, I tried it and I put it in the microwave and this is key. You have to put it in the microwave for like 20 seconds. And when you break it apart, it actually has that like cinnamon roll textury brown sugar on the inside and the icing melted. So I was very impressed. If you're somebody that has a sweet tooth, but again, you struggle with protein or you're just looking for a little bit of a healthier alternative cinnamon roll, I, I'm gonna say I really liked it and I went back and bought another one. So that's like one of those things where it's different. The, the protein Pop-Tarts, it was like, okay, if I have them, I'll eat them. But the cinnamon roll, I actually went out of my way to get, so highly recommend. And then Trader Joe's came out with these Jojo Slims, pretzel Slims, whatever, Jojo coatings. If they put Jojo on anything, I'm gonna buy it, okay? Their Jojos, for some reason, are so much better than Oreos. I don't know why, it's literally just an Oreo, but the way that they make their Jojos is just it's amazing I don't know so I really 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 love them and one of my followers told me to put them in the fridge oh my gosh if you're somebody that likes Reese's in your fridge put these pretzel slims in your fridge and report back to me also I cannot remember for the life of me if I mentioned this in a previous favorites video but this is the Dior lip oil in the shade rose no pink sorry and this is probably easily become my favorite lip gloss that I own just for the sole fact that it's not sticky you can put as much of this on your lips as you want it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel tacky and you can literally put this on top of anything that you have on your lips and it's just going to amplify it and look so nice and I just I really loved your packaging you know I just I, I think it's so cute so next up we have a shoe and this is rare for me because I'm pretty consistent with the type of shoes that I wear and to be honest with you I really don't like the regular noble shoes for CrossFit and just any type of lifting they're a little bit too flat for me and the ankle part is just like not flattering I don't know if you'll get what I mean by that but I don't like wearing them. You have to wear the like the perfect socks for those shoes. And what I was running into though with wearing Vans because those have become pretty popular to do CrossFit and lifting in and I think it's great for like leg day or if you're doing something that doesn't involve any type of high impact running or box jumps or something like that it's totally fine but i will say what i was running into no pun intended was when i would wear those like if i did take a crossfit class and then there was running there's just no way you can comfortably run in vans i don't care what anyone says i see crossfit athletes doing it because they're in but i just they're uncomfortable and if you're somebody who has like experience in running and you own running shoes you're gonna know what i mean it's just like you can't run realistically in vans. Anyways, I wanted to get more of a versatile shoe that I could wear when I was going to a CrossFit class and didn't know if it was going to be something that had some high impact work or lifting or both. And these just kind of really, really surprised me. And they're extremely comfortable and lightweight. They have a bit of cushion, but one of the main reasons I love them is because this ankle part right here is so soft and stretchy that you can just like slip them on. You don't really have to tie them up and they're good to go and I don't know they don't give me any blisters they're very comfortable I'm, I'm genuinely surprised that I like these shoes so if I'm mentioning them and they're noble they're good okay next I'm going to talk about some jewelry and this is again one of those things that people ask me about all the time on Instagram I also just recently let me pull in a little bit closer here I also just recently got my lobe stacked it's a little bloody because I just got it done like last week but I've never had a stacked lobe piercing before and I thought it was so cute. I got it when I was going to get new jewelry and I wanted to mention the jewelry in my ear because every time I show my ears, people are like, where did you get this? What's it called? And every single thing that is in my ear with the exception of these little flowers, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second, is from a tattoo or piercing specialist shop, but they order from this brand called Juniper and BVLA. And those are both very, very well known, like high quality jewelry for like specialty piercings. So if you have a piercing shop near you, a tattoo shop, definitely call them and ask them if they carry Juniper brand or BVLA. Again, they're a little bit on the pricey side, but so worth it. I've literally had so much in my ear, like my date, um, I think this is 
uh, juniper, my forward helixes, the little marquee, all of those are either juniper or BVLA and they have lasted for years. 14 karat gold and most of the places that you get these from will offer a replacement if anything happens like this little marquee band thing one of the diamonds fell out of it and then I went back to the place and he just gave me a brand new one so in my opinion 100% worth the investment especially if you do have a lot of piercings like I do you want good quality jewelry in your ear however if you don't I want to mention this website called studs because like for my regular lobes this little black flower is from studs they have really cute and different type of stud piercings and they have flat backs so that's what I look for when I'm looking for any type of lobe jewelry is making sure that it has a completely flat back because I don't like anything poking me behind the ear obviously with having just like the sheer amount of volume of piercings that I do so I know I get asked about that quite a bit I think I have 24 in total I think um, and my least favorite piercing that I do not recommend anyone to get is your snug. In all honesty, a lot of places shouldn't even do this piercing. It is the worst. It took almost three years to heal. I wish I never got it. <laughs> uh, and I think my favorite is probably just my conch piercing. So I'm going to throw those in there because, again, I know you guys love them. It's probably just like my favorite little fun, I don't want to say hobby, but you know what I mean. I like getting new jewelry for my ears. I just, I think it's really fun and cute. So that's what I use for my lobes and the rest of my ear. And last but not least, I'm going to do a little bit of a shameless plug because I see so many of you in the six-week CrossFit program of my app, and it is making me so excited and so happy for all of you. It's gotten so much great feedback, and if you are a member of of the app you can download it for a free week the link is always in the description box but you get access to all of those workouts the entire time like they don't go away or anything like that so all the perks all the benefits that you get in the app is yours to keep so I highly recommend you check it out everyone that's doing the six-week CrossFit program is entered into a giveaway to win a Fleo gift card a driven nutrition package like a bundle of different things and then a Tula skincare little skincare bag I'm super super pumped about it I love just like adding new workouts on there. I really hope that like in the future I'm able to kind of just like transition into just doing that stuff because I've been having so much fun with it and it seems like you guys really like it and I test these workouts out like whether I'm making them up all of the programs both of the dumbbell and the crossfit barbell strength I write I scale I do all of that stuff so it's really just like a proud moment for me when I see all of you guys doing them and enjoying that so if you haven't seen that go check it out if you're looking to like start a new program or something for the summer six weeks will lead you right up into that so highly recommend but that is pretty much everything that I have for you in this favorites video. I hope that you enjoyed. Of course, as always, please, please, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe and the little bell notification so you don't miss when I upload videos, which is every Monday. So that's it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next Monday.